Hi everybody. Uh, this uh, tutorial I'm going to go into um, a new program, Cinema 4D, and uh, it's free for download for teachers and students, so I recommend getting your version so you can follow along. Uh, I would just Google search uh, Cinema 4D Education, follow the links to student or teacher uh, to get your free software. They even have a video if, if you're confused, but um, I would recommend getting uh, getting a hold of it. All right, so uh, this video, I'm going to go over just the basics of Cinema 4D, going to just the Move Tool, Rotate Tool, Scale Tool, get get to know some of the interface, and uh, then I'll move on to different videos from here. Okay, so uh, let's start by taking a look at some of the shapes. If I hold down the cube right up here in the toolbar, we have a few to choose from. I'm just going to select the cube for now. Let's learn how to navigate in Cinema 4D. If you're new to 3D, uh, we need to be able to navigate to, to work in this world. So if I hold down Option and hold down Option or Alt on a PC or Mac, hold down Option and hold down your regular left mouse button, you can see I can orbit around. If I hold down Option and I hold down my Let's see. If I hold down Option and I hold down my middle mouse wheel, I'll be able to do something called panning. And if I hold down Option and hold down my right mouse button, I can smooth zoom. You can also zoom just by using the uh, wheel on your mouse. So just a review. Orbiting was holding down Option and holding down the regular left mouse button holding down option and the middle mouse button will allow you to pan the screen and zooming is just the wheel okay so you might notice there's a um, gizmo or a handle manipulator whatever you want to call it in the middle here green red and blue uh, this is the move tool let me show you where that is right up here you can see we have the move tool and if I hold down on one of those arrow points I can move it on that axis. Be careful not to touch these um, dots right now. That will scale the shape. We'll get into that later. So I can move with the Move tool. I'm going to go over to the next tool here, and that is the Scale tool, or the Resizing tool. So the gizmo changes a little bit. It's mostly the same. Instead of arrows, though, there are these little cubes. If I hold down on these cubes, either one, you can see I can scale smaller or larger my shape. If you're not seeing this gizmo that I'm talking about, it just means that you're not selected on the shape. Let's move to the next tool, and it's the rotate tool. The rotate tool will move along the axis that you want. So again, there's the gizmo, the same colors, just looks a little bit different. If you ever want to rotate something um, in uh, perfectly, so if I wanted to rotate this, this exactly 90 degrees, down here you'll notice that um, my rotation numbers are changing as I rotate, you can see. And if I did want to rotate at 45 degrees and zero these out, you can do that by typing into these fields down here. You'll also notice up top, and we'll get into this later, but this over here is our um, objects list, or um, I guess we call it our objects list, and anything that you create will be in here. And when I select on something in this objects manager, uh, down below will be all the options. So here's where I would, if I wanted to, add segments, which I'm adding 333, but I'm actually not seeing those segments show up here. So I'm going to turn on something that I want. I'm going to go to Mode. I'm going to go to View Settings. And I'm going to do this right here. I'm going to do Select Wireframe. I'm going to turn that on. Definitely turn this on so that you can see the amount of segments. I'm surprised that isn't just a default. Uh, so now that that's on, you can see when I select the cube down below, I have my attributes. And it used to be on 111, which looked like this. 
but I can split this up into different segments if I want to later. Okay. I'm going to remove this cube just by selecting and pressing delete and I'm going to hold down the cube and I'm going to go to a different shape. How about the figure? Cinema 40 comes with a nice figure here that we can use and if I zoom in you can see that he's facing away from me. I'm just going to get my move tool for now and I'm going to orbit my scene so that he's facing me. I'm not rotating him. I'm just going to orbit my scene to move him and face him towards me. If I press the middle mouse button, oh, excuse me, it's not, that, that's a different program. If I, let me get back to the move tool, if I click my middle mouse button, you can see just by clicking that middle mouse button, I get into these four views. So this is the view that we've been using, the perspective view that we can move around. This is a top view. This is the right view, and this is the front view. So you'll notice if I move this figure forward and backward, you can see him moving in the top view, but you can't see him moving in the front view. I can also see him moving in the right view, right? And it's because he's coming right at me, and that's why we don't see the movement. If I do the same thing, but I move him along my green axis, which is the Y, I'm moving him up and down, I can see him moving in the right view, I can see him moving in the front view, but I'm not seeing him move in the top view, and that's because he's coming right at our eyes. So these are good uh, views to use. They allow us to move shapes around fairly quickly without orbiting and moving and orbiting and moving. These can really be very helpful. To get back to a full screen of one of these views, you would click the middle, move your mouse into the area, the segment, and I would click the middle mouse button again to get closer. I'm going to click my middle mouse button in the perspective view to get back to a full screen perspective view. And I think that's all for this video. Just the move, scale, and rotate tool and learning how to, what we just learned was orbiting with option and the regular left mouse button and panning with the op, with option hold, held down and the middle mouse wheel held down and zooming. Uh, we'll get into some more videos after this. Uh, try this out and good luck.